Hi, my love, beautiful souls. It's Mystic Rose 1111. I'm back with True Bring and Dark into Light. Please take what resonates and leave it does not fit for somebody else. Collect a reading on plus reading. If you're guiding my channel, there's some kind of true clarity, confirmation you're looking for. You may be also guided to my channels. My soul missions waking you guys up to higher self, higher conscious, helps in a 5D. Again, please take what resonates. Thank you to everyone liking, sharing, subscribing to my channel. Thank you, thank you so much, you guys. I love you. Not be where I'm at. It's not for you guys for the most high. So thank you so much. Also, thank you for this uh super thanks, donations, booking rhythm, me, purchase the product from my Etsy store. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. If you're new, hit the like button, share, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified. Also, if you'd like to join the True Seeking members, it's $3.99 per month. month. The bonus you get is one free question. Right now, in my Etsy store, I have 15% off free shipping and handling. So please check that out. 15% off free shipping and handling. My spiritual box is a $39.99 um, with free shipping and handling. If you purchase $50 of product or more, you get a 10 minute free reading with me as well. Okay, you guys, I was channeling uh, that. You are a very, very powerful, powerful being, a human being, okay? You're very powerful, super powerful, okay? You have superhuman strength, okay? Superhuman powers, okay? Uh, this is something that was, uh, what's the word? Um, it's gonna, oh my gosh, what's the word? I just heard it a little bit ago. Dormant, okay? Dormant um, inside of you. Okay, it was blocked. Okay, this could have been blocked because of your childhood trauma. It could have been blocked because of family, friends. Um, it could be blocked because of yourself, but it was dormant. Okay, this whole time you were so powerful. I'm hearing just super, super powerful. Okay, and people did not want other people did not want you to know that. And this also isn't just other people. It's also like your shadow side. Okay, um, we all have a shadow. We all have um a dark side. Okay, an opposite of us. Okay that doesn't want us to see something okay and it, it's sometimes our ego as well okay and the devil i'm hearing the devil did not want you to see this did not want you to know this okay but you are super super powerful okay you're a badass bitch badass man okay whatever okay because even men okay um you're great you're powerful and like it's not that you're greater than anybody else and you're better than anybody else it's that you're the best version of yourself and you're going to be the best version of yourself okay uh, it was just, again, like dormant, okay? It was dormant. Like when a tree in the wintertime, it goes dormant. And that's what it was. Like it was inside of you the whole time. It just was waiting to be activated. It was waiting to wake up. It was waiting to, you know, bloom, okay? And it come in fruition. That's what it was waiting for. And it was it was waiting for you also too with this this powerful gift inside of you this powerful um energy that you have inside of you uh it was it was waiting for you to be ready and open to receive and open to be this powerful being okay be this powerful human being on this planet okay um i did grab my britney spears cards because i haven't used these in a long time and these are very powerful oracle cards um and so I wanted to use these and like, you know, she's a badass bitch. Okay. She's went through a lot. Okay. And she's been through a lot and she's going through a lot and she went through awakening and all this stuff and everything. And, um, even when it got really hard and so many times that she wanted to give up, she still kept fighting. Okay. She kept fighting. And that's what I'm hearing with you too, is there's so many times that you wanted to give up, but you keep fighting. Okay. You got right back up. Okay. You could have a similar situation to her. Like you could have some, someone could have been, uh, what's the word? Um, uh, Where they were, she was, she was committed, okay? Uh, committed by a family member. Okay, you could have been committed by the state or committed by a family member or two, okay? Where they took your rights away from you, okay? Where they took your freedom away from you, but you were over, you overcame that or you're overcoming it, okay? Um, because you're, you're accessing who you're meant to be, okay? God has always been within you too, okay? With this super, super powerful gifts that you have, um, you being a very, very powerful being, it's not because just you, it's because God has given that to you, okay? That it, it, it's because God is within you, okay? That's why. Okay, it's not because of your family, it's not because your mom and dad, okay? Yes, it could be in their bloodline, okay? But it truly comes from the most high, okay? God is within you, okay? So I'm using this. Somebody's going to be a record breaker too, okay? On the bottom of the deck, um, it says record breaker. You could be a record breaker, okay? This could be like somebody going viral too, you know, like Taylor Swift and stuff like that. Um, it doesn't have to be that extreme, but know that you're powerful. Know that you're capable of doing it. Know that you can do anything that you want to do okay i you have many many gifts and abilities okay and talents okay that has been dormant that has been inside of you this whole time okay you, you're very creative okay so holy spirit angels and ancestors the highest white light please can be crack accurate for the collective what's going on here with this powerful power i'm, I'm a powerful message okay of this powerful being okay having powerful gifts and abilities you're more powerful than what you know okay 
and you still haven't, if you have tapped in, you haven't tapped in fully. Okay, you have not tapped in fully to your full potential. Okay, you're just getting started where I'm here and you're just getting started. You could be an artist. Okay, you're just getting started. You're just getting started with being creative. Okay, your your chakras have a blind, so you're able to open that up. Um, your sacred chakra, especially with creativity, okay? And your solar plexus with confidence and knowing. You're a badass bitch. You're, you're a powerful ass bitch. And not like powerful is like greedy and money hungry and cruel and mean and con um, conceiving or not conceiving, um, con oh my god, conspiring and stuff like that and competitive. Not like that, okay? Not like that. Not in this comp competition energy, okay? Not like you're better than anybody else. Like you have to compete with other people because you don't, okay? You don't have to be. You don't have to. You just know. You just know. And I keep shuffling because I'm just hearing the channel messages. But it's just keep telling me shuffle. Okay. It's been dormant in you all, all along. The perfume queen. Okay. Someone may be working with perfumes or um, scents. Smells. Okay. Your scent. Okay. You use your gift of scent. Okay. Smell. Okay. That is a gift. Okay. That is a gift. Okay. She actually had her own perfume too. So maybe you have a different, you have a fashion line. Okay. Or you're a fashion designer. Okay. Or you're an entrepreneur. Okay. I'm hearing an entrepreneur. You're, you're finding all kinds of ways to make money. Okay. Um, for yourself and for your community and stuff. Okay. Okay. Um, this one, it says not only is Brittany a platinum selling rec recording artist and pop icon. She also is an entrepreneur. Why do I say entrepreneur? Her first fragrance, Curious, launched in 2004, and since then, Brit has added countless scents to her line. So you could be very curious, too, okay? Or somebody's very curious about you. Somebody could be into you, okay? Um, I'm getting, like, this energy of, like, you know, you, this this power has been dormant this whole time, and now that you've been activated, and now that you're, like, glowing up and uh, stepping into entrepreneurship, um, you can have many opportunities coming your way, okay? Opportunities coming your way. From the ground... Um, Gourmet sweet fantasy to the coffee scent private show to the Angelus provocative name and mood and name a mood and Brittany got a scent for it. Perfume is one of Brittany's passions and not only are her fragrance delicious, their commercials are practically mini music videos. The perfume queen is about more than smelling great. It's about expanding your skill set and following your nose to its new opportunities. Following your nose to your new opportunities. What did I say? The opportunities. And like I said, something with your smell, something with your scent. You guys, I make, I make miss. Okay. I make, um, you know, you will be gone miss. I make money. You love me miss. Uh, really crazy. Jamaican me crazy miss. Okay. When I'm getting down in here and drive me crazy from Britney Spears, okay? So you could be into that kind of stuff too, okay? You may be making perfumes. You may be being, making lotions, stuff like that, okay? You're into that kind of um, health and body, okay? I'm hearing health and body is what I'm getting you could be into. Um, just a lot of expanding your skills and following your nose to the new opportunities. Are you building... Are you building up courage to take the leap of faith and follow your heart? Spritz on one of Britney's signature scents and change your life, okay? Yeah, I see you're changing your life. Okay, your life is changing around you too. The little star, okay? The little star. I am reading all these because these are really significant to somebody. Stardom was always in the cards for young Britney Spears of Kentwood, Louisiana. From a young age, she was killing in the dance studio. Somebody could be in dance. Appearing on Star Search and even working as an unsturdy for the Broadway show in New York City. Britney landed a role in the Mickey Mouse Club in 1993 alongside fellow future star Justin Timberlake, J.C. Chases, Ryan Gosling, and Christina Aguilera. It was there that she honed her singing, dancing, and acting skills and solidified her path to stardom. The little star knew what she wanted and worked tirelessly to get there. So you know what you want, okay? You know what you want and you're going to work hard. You're going to bust your ass off, okay? You're going to work hard, okay? It's it's going to come to fruition. You're going to have something beautiful, okay? See something beautiful. The little star knew what she wanted and worked tirelessly to get where she's learning. Always learning and improving. So you're learning and improving. Take a page from her book and pursue your goals with similar ambition. Okay? Similar ambition. You are you could be a masculine too, okay? You could be a masculine too. Okay, stepping up. Look at Justin Timberlake, okay? I'm not really happy about him in the book, what he did, but he look at him. Look at him, a superstar too, okay? And now he had like the DWI, whatever, okay? But still, woman or man, the spice, the space spice, the space princess, 
Okay, this is when I look at this, I'm looking at like you are a star seed. Okay, you are a celestial being. You are a higher dimensional being, and like it has been activated, and like nothing stopping you. Okay, you're gonna go to new heights. Okay, you're climbing that stairs to heaven. You're climbing that stairs to high vibration, to a higher frequency. Okay, and there's no one stopping you. You keep climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing, and you just keep climbing. Okay, up to the tip top. Okay, and not that way either. Something can be red, can be significant too. Okay. This is you actually say activating your star seed, remembering who you are, okay, remembering where you came from. You came from the most high. He created you. Can you blame this astronaut in the oops, I did it again video for venturing into the depths of the sea to bring Brittany's the heart of the ocean? We certainly can't. The oops video and accompanying a album saw Brittany taking things to the next level. Bigger videos, bigger dance breaks, and bigger pop domination. In a red cat suit, Space Britney shows us exactly why she became a superstar. You can you can't take your eyes off her as she executes every move flawless and cat captifies and the entire space station. The space princess is a symbol of confidence and empowerment. The sky or the stars is the limit for you. Okay, sky or the stars is the limit for you, Celestial. Okay, this is you being confident as well. This said your solar plexus. Okay. Your solar plexus, sacred plexus, solar plexus, your root chakra, everything. It's it's you being aligned. Okay? You empowering women and men around, okay? You 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 could be a motivation speaker, okay? There's so many things you can do, you're capable of doing. And the devil was holding you back from that. The enemy was holding you back from that. Okay, and sometimes the enemy is our own our own self, okay? People don't want to look at that. People don't want to look at we are we are the ones that can hold us back from ourselves. I will admit, I want to put blame in all the karmics that did me wrong and my family members and my ex-lovers and my ex-friend. But the truth behind it all, yes, they did some of this stuff, but I was also holding myself back, okay? I was holding myself back, my shadow, okay, my ego. Deep down, it was me holding myself back. I knew I could break free from the spell work. I knew I could break free from the karmics. I knew I could break free from the bondage and from the past mindset and the negative mindset. I knew, okay? And that's what the devil, the devil doesn't want you to believe that you can, okay? And I yes, there was still interferences, third-party karmics and ex-lovers and family members that betrayed me and hurt me and stuff. But ultimately, I allowed that to shit to happen, okay? I could have said no. I could have put my foot down. I didn't have to let it go that far and I did so I had to take accountability for my actions I had to own up and say hey I'm the one that's blocking myself I'm the one that's not allowing me to succeed I'm the one that's not allowing me to be this superstar to be this um entrepreneur this this confident being okay I had to own that up okay once I realized that once I accessed that once I actually it clicked in my head and said okay I'm holding myself back it's not the damn karmics it's not my family it's not my husband it's not my ex-husband it's not my children it's not my co-workers my ex-co-workers it's not the community it was me okay ultimately we are the ones holding us back even though we had some kind of trauma and something happened in our life or we you know went through something as a childhood that trauma it's still us holding it back because we can heal from that we can forgive we can grow we can let go we can surrender we can allow God in and allow God to help us on our journey. Okay? So that's what I'm getting like, you know, and that's why I could have been dormant. It could have been dormant because you could have been afraid. You could have been scared. Okay? To become something good. To, be some, to become something great. To, be, to glow up. Okay? You could have been scared or living in fear that you are going to be a rising star that people are going to be, you know, taking pictures, paparazzi, whatever, you know what I mean? Or a celebrity or people are going to be coming around more and stuff like wanting more of your attention. Okay. That does, like, I didn't want to do YouTube at first. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to have all this extra emails, comment, all this extra stuff. And I was afraid. I'll be honest. I was afraid to do YouTube. I really did. I, I didn't realize I was supposed to get on here and do YouTube. And I was afraid. I was holding myself back. Because I, I knew I stuttered. I knew I um, sometimes I talk really super fast. I knew I have a lazy eye, so I don't want to put my face on camera. Like, I didn't, I didn't believe in myself. Okay? And then one day, it's finally, it, Spirit said, hey, no, you, you got to be confident. You got to believe in yourself. You, you, you could do this. Stop living in fear. Stop being scared. Stop trying to take the easy way out. Because you know what? The easy way out is just not believing in yourself and not doing it. Okay? I didn't want to do the work. Like, I didn't want to do that. Like, that's what Spirit was telling me. Like, myself was telling me, I, oh, you didn't want to do it. I just, I, I, I did, but I didn't, you know? And I had to take accountability. So that's what I'm getting to with you is, like, taking accountability, okay? 
this uh, some fear and scaredness and like and people also too you may have been hearing like little birdies in your ear saying oh you can't do that oh you're not you're not good enough oh you're not creative enough oh you're not psychic oh you're not able to you know people are not going to start following you you only get one view you're going to have one 100 subscribers like l don't listen to the naysayers don't listen to them because you know what they're they're, they're demons they're, they're, en they're the enemy they're the ones that are um trying to keep you away from your path your purpose your mission okay your north node that's why anybody that tells you you are not capable of doing it or you're not creative or you're not good enough or you're not going to have subscribers or you're not going to get views, they're not for your friends. They're not meant to be in your life, okay? Anyone that does not believe in you and does not uplift you and does not give you credit and does not see your potential does not belong in your life. If anyone questions anything you want to do, anything, and they question it, they're, they're not meant to be in your life, okay? Like, my husband, he he asked me, he's like, you, you want to be a YouTuber? I'm like, no. He's like, but are you good at tarot? Are you good at reading reading energy? He's like, go do it. And I'm like, no, I, I'm not capable. I, I'm not going to be good, good at it. He's like, go do it. He's like, you're good. He's like, you're just reading for... I was reading energy. I was reading cards, and I was giving messages for prisoners, okay, in in the prison, okay, Minnesota prison, um, where he was at, okay? That's when he told me, he's like, they're telling me like you you just read for us like you're on point you need to be doing this and i didn't want to believe it believe that i was on point like i you know and like because other people like my mom and my ex husband and my brothers and my family like oh god you, you're not like really people are gonna watch that people don't gonna believe that like are you and same thing with my my candles my bracelets i i got told that oh it's not gonna go nowhere no one's gonna buy your stuff okay and look at people are buying my stuff so people are gonna buy your stuff okay if it's meant for you it's meant for you don't listen to those people because they're just jealous or envy because they're not capable of doing it because they're stuck because they're dormant, okay? Because they don't have God within them. Like, they do, but they're not allowing God inside of them, okay? They're not allowing God to help them, okay? They're they're allowing the devil to control them, okay? You're capable of doing anything, whatever you're creative. You could be making pillows. You could be making blankets. You could be crocheting. You could be sewing. You could be doing arts and crafts stuff like picture frames, resin. I'm, I'm getting like somebody doing work with resin, okay? Making resin stuff, okay? A lot of things that are made with resin now, okay? Like re this, like resin picture frames and stuff like this, okay? This is resin picture frames. My aunt, my friend did this, okay? Somebody could be making resin like this cool resin, you know, stuff like that, okay? And you're selling it online, okay? You're selling it at a... Uh, uh, flea market you're selling it at a fair okay at a little craft show you could be into jewelry okay like making necklaces and making like rings and stuff like that earrings like there's so much stuff that you could be doing and you may be doing several things you could be doing resin you could be you could be doing jewelry like there's so many things it, it's inside of you it's always been inside of you You're capable of it. You're you're such a powerful being. The enemy doesn't want you to believe that, though. The enemy does not want you to believe that. Here it is. Thank you. Ghost of the pumpkin patch. Count your blessings. Okay. Blessings. Okay. You're gonna be blessed. Okay. You bring blessings to others. You're gonna be blessed as well. Okay, you're gonna be blessed. More blessings than you ever possibly could think of. Because you didn't give up. Because you didn't let the enemy win. You're stronger than the enemy, you're stronger than the devil. You are so powerful the enemy can't even come again. Like they they they, they, they're not going to win, okay? That's what I'm getting. Like, you are so powerful that the enemy is not even going to win, okay? The enemy is scared of you. The devil is even scared of you. That's how powerful you are, okay? Is what I'm getting. Like, you're so powerful that the devil is actually scared of you now. Like, they don't even want to come against you anymore, okay? These little demons may try, but the devil doesn't want to fuck with you anymore. It's time to say goodbye. Something is about to end for now, okay? Look at this. De the devil is like, oh, I'm done. I'm done with this. Like, I... She or he is already activated in, like... God has control over this person. Like, there's nothing we stop. No, I, I'm not even going to try to have this person sell their soul to me. Like, I, I'm done. I can't fight this person anymore. Like, the devil is dead. Okay, that's what I'm being like. You're so powerful that you kill the devil. You kill the, you, you kill the devil. It's dead. Like, for now, like, dead. 
okay, and keep the devil gone. Something's about to end. Time to say goodbye. Time to say goodbye to your old people, okay, your old past, okay, that old person of you. The devil's dead, the devil's gone and dead, dead and gone or whatever, okay. Dragonfly mermaid, you attracted wonderful news. Yeah, I just keep hearing, the devil's dead. You killed the devil. You slayed the devil. You slayed, you slayed this demon, okay? You slayed many demons, and now you slayed this devil. The devil doesn't want to fuck with you anymore. Wow. You're such a powerful human being. A powerful human that the devil doesn't want to fuck with you anymore. Thrones, weave together the crown you deserve. See, you're being crowned. Okay, you're being crowned. Lavender, surround yourself with love. Lavender, when I see lavender, my mom. My mom's with me. Okay, my mom's coming out here. Okay, and then it's a 32. Escape this. Come home to yourself. Okay, coming home to your higher self. Okay, coming home to your who you are. Okay, divine being. You're a powerful divine being, okay? Divine is within you. Devil's not gonna fuck with you. I was like, I, I, this person is too strong for me. This person, I, I can't play games with this person anymore. This person sees all the games, like, catches on. Like, I don't even want to fuck with this person anymore. Like, they don't want to fuck with you anymore. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. You're achieving success. They want to go play somebody else. The devil wants to go play somebody. I mean, the devil wants to go play somebody else. Okay, like, they like <laughs> you see past the, the bullshit. Like, you, once once you admitted that you were blocking yourself, and that you admitted that you are this powerful being, and you're no no, no longer dormant, and you activated it, and like you're like, okay, I'm the one that's holding me back. I'm blocking myself. Like the devil's like, oh, I, she figured it. He figured it out. I, I'm gonna move on to the next to try to mess with somebody else. You know what I mean? Like. You're not weak. You're not weak at all. You're, you're strong. You're powerful. Okay, protection. Finding what's important, okay? You're protected in because you have this knowledge, this hidden knowledge. Okay? You're very knowledgeable. You're able to help other people as well. You're going to show people, teach people. And because, look at freedom, breaking the chains. You broke free from this devil. You broke free from the enemies. They can't hold on to you. The enemies can't keep holding on to you. They can't keep pulling you down. They keep trying to pull you down. Try to take you with them. Revenge. Somebody's revengeful. Okay? Somebody was trying to seek some kind of revenge here. Some of you were doing this in the past. This could be a demon, okay? Somebody's trying to attack. Was attacking you. And you're blinded to it. Like, you're blinded. Like, you, you're not allowing... Whoever's seeking revenge on you or, like, attacking you, it's, like, it's not even touching you, okay? If it is, it's just a little residue. And, like, it's, like, hmm, okay, keep coming at me. I'm blinded by pain. Like, you're, you're blinded. Like, you don't even feel the pain. You don't even feel it anymore. Like, it's not going to let you... Bring you down. It's not going to eat away at you, okay, in the past, something about it could eat away at you, and, like, if somebody was telling you you're not good enough, it was, like, eating away at you, like, oh my gosh, I'm not good enough, oh my gosh, I'm not creative, now you're just, like, fuck this, I am creative, I am good enough, I am confident, I am successful, I am a powerful being, I'm a powerful bitch, I'm a powerful femme, I'm a powerful masculine, I'm a powerful queen, king, goddess, god, okay, like, you're, you're powerful, like, you're queen of the world, queen of my world, look at of the world. You're your own queen. You're your own queen king. There's that red again. Red is significant here. Okay? Red may look good on you. Red is Je the blood of Jesus as well. Okay? Something about uh, you allow Jesus and Jesus healed you as well. Okay? And that could be why when Jesus heals you, um, it's really hard for the devil to come. Okay? The devil can still come and try. And the demons, they can still try to play games and stuff. But 
every time Jesus is going to continue to heal you. So you're standing up for what you believe in now, okay? Before you're afraid, you were scared, okay? You were you were afraid to stand up for what you believe in, what you believe in because um, too many naysayers, too many Debbie Downers, they're um, negative Nancys. Kava Kava. It's a plant. Or Kava Kava. Kava Kava. Let's see what this plant is. It's significant here. You're grounded. Oceans away, there lies a plant whose history is rooted deep in the sacred rituals of indigenous island cultures. Kava Kava, with its wide brimmed leaves, has been used ceremonies and embodies a spiritual practice of grounding. Like the roots, Kava Kava is here to remind you that before you embark on any spiritual journey, you first need to ground yourself. So make sure you stay grounded, okay? Grounded. Connection to earth and yourself is how you'll be able to make clear decisions about where you are going and where you want to be. Imagine a brilliant white light and extend from you in the soil below. Feel it, stretch, breathe, breath, the surface, and intertwine with the natural roots of earth. You are connected to the source. Let, the, let this bring comfort to you and solidify the decisions you will make. As you continue throughout life, remember, always come back to your roots. Come back to your roots. Grounding. Okay? I'm coming right back to your roots. They didn't see that. Somebody didn't want you to. Somebody didn't want you to see where you come from, okay? Where you come from, your royal bloodline, okay? You come from a really, really strong royal bloodline. Like a important bloodline. You could come from Jesus, okay? Bloodline. Or Egyptian. Turn it down. Turn it down. I'm doing this reading. I'll put pause. I'm almost. I'm gonna be done soon. You're the key. You're receiving some kind of key. Uh, key. Uh, message soon. Mommy, I okay. my fries. You what? My fries. Sissy already ate your fries. They're cold. They're yucky. You don't want your cold. Do you eat all your hamburger? Yeah. Okay. Well, you want macaroni, macaroni and cheese pizza? Mmm, macaroni. No, I want cheese pizza. Yeah, Grandpa made it. Do you want some? Hold on, you guys. My cheese one. Okay, you guys. See, you got the key. You got the key, you got the key to the city. God's giving you the key to the city. God's giving you the keys, okay, to the universe. Keys to the universe as well. You know this hidden knowledge, hidden wisdom. Community. Yeah, key to the community. Okay, you are the key. An offering. Okay, you may bring you may bring an offering as well. An offering you just could, you could be lighting a candle, okay, and praying, okay, and meditating, and you know offering can also be like you giving up your time to donate your time to the community for you know an hour of the day. Oh my gosh! Hold on. Oh, they just got home. So, um, this won't be much longer than I guess because they just got home. Okay. Um, let's grab the, uh, what else do I got? I'm going to grab these two because you're, I'm hearing alchemist, okay? Alchemy. Alchemist, alchemy. Transmitting negative energy into positive energy. That's why, too, the devil doesn't want to fuck with you. Because you're able to trans negative energy into positive energy. And not hold on to any negativity. So you don't hold on to, you don't hold on to resentment. You don't hold on to hate. You don't hold on to negativity. You don't hold on to darkness, okay? You release it. You let it go. You transmute it. Okay, and that's, that's why the devil can't fuck with you. Doesn't want to play with you anymore. You could have been fun playing with the, the devil. could have fun playing with you before, but no longer. Again, like, because you have this key to help. Thank you. Completion. Closing door. See, you close the door of the devil. Like, you're like, yep. Hey, you, you may not even believe in the devil anymore. You may not even be, you're not feeding anymore. De demons and devil feed off fear. Okay? You're not living in fear anymore. So the devil can't get close to you. You just close that door. Bold step forward. Look at that. The farther gate. Bold step forward. You taking that leap of faith. You stepping into new something new, a new timeline. 
birthday, something new that you did not ex did not see coming, okay? Uh, what is it? Uh, ex um, taking a chance, okay? Uh, taking a risk, okay? A good risk. This isn't a bad risk. This is a good risk, okay? You did overcome some obstacles in your past, okay? You overcome some obstacles in your past. Let's do another one. Oh, yeah, see, bottom again. You overcome pops, obstacles in the past. Okay, I'm gonna grab one of these and then. You're really connected with Mother Earth, too, okay? To nature. Okay, you're really connected to Mother Earth, nature. That's what I'm pulling to. And that's what that's why you're able to alchemize, transmute negative energy into positive energy. Because you're connected to Mother Earth. You get ground. And then remember grounding earlier, too. Kava, kava with grounding. Staying grounded. You discipline yourself too. When you know you're wrong, you know you're wrong. When you know you're right, you're right. Okay, so like, you own up to it. Okay, if you if you made a mistake, if you know you did something wrong, you own up to it. We have worm, wood. Okay, remember these names are really hard to pronounce too. How they are, um, Artemis. I don't even know how to pronounce that word. Okay, so warm wood, wood is the other word, but the other one is Artemis absinthum. That's a Latin name. Mars, Pluto, Moon, fire element. Okay. So what this is, this this plant, what was helping you? Okay, this is what you may work with. Is one of the most fairy bitter herbs of the Artemis genus, linked by name to spear of the moon, but is most forms of magic and medicine considered as a herb of Mars. Its nature is warm and protect. Its bitterness sets a boundary, and while it can, it a bitterness sets a boundary. So you put boundary up. See, so you put the boundary up with this devil, okay, and these demons. And while it can be strewed about to prevent vermin and pests, and in small amounts consumed to kill of off incidental worms, giving its name, magically expels parasitical entities and harmful energies see harmful energies you you don't allow them near you okay in charms and talisman it's used for protection in general but specifically against biting and stinging creatures such as snakes Paradox, paradoxically it can be mixed with the sister mugwort in an, in an incense to help and call the good and helpful spirits while mugwort helps you per perceive these spirits the wormwood in the blend prevents malicious spirits from ha appearing. So malicious spirits will not be able to appear if you work with this um wormwood. Okay, the spiritual power of wormwood is very useful for dealing with obsessions, helping us purify our energy and releasing any attachments we have from our pe other people or other spirit entities. Releasing attachments. Wormwood adds. A fire to our aura, granting purification and protection, allowing us to drop toxic habits and people. Wow, see? Wormwood is one of the key indi key ingredient ingredients of the liquor option known as the Green Fairy, as it's credited with granting poetic inspiration and the mistress of life and death through the psychoactive essential oil thiagon. Though its attributes are a bit poetically executed. Okay, this one too. Wormwood will appear when we need to purge and protect ourselves from toxic forces ranging from simple pests to more poisonous serpents in our life. Wormwood urges you to put your more energy into active bound, boundaries, boundaries and speaking out when they are being crossed by others. Because if you're going to be successful in everything else and your family and friends are doing this to you, you need to speak out. You need to put your boundaries up, okay? You need to put those up so they can't cross them. With this vitality reserved for ourselves rather than parts of the for forces of our life we have renewed connection to our inspiration our muse taken from her here as the green fairy of the wo wormwood butterfly winged inspiration of musician and oh, there's a musician singing and offering the cup yet frame the swords of truth and the skulls of mortality and rebirth what song are we called to compose to sing follow the passion don't let anything get in your way what the fuck this goes right back to the beginning that's why, like, you guys, it goes right back. If you really actually follow from the beginning to the end, that this is right there. I was just talking about singing, successful, okay? Protection, letting go of people, okay? Like I said, the demons don't even want to fuck with you anymore. Like, the devil, like, they're over it. Or you're over it. 
You're not going to allow anything to get to you anymore. You're not going to allow anyone to break you. You're not going to allow anyone to make you doubt yourself or make you feel like you're not doing something right, okay? Because you know. You know what you're meant to do. You know who you are, okay? You've been activated, okay? God has given you the keys to the universe. God has given you the keys to your community, to this hidden knowledge. Gaia is really connected to you as you transmute all this energy as well. This offering could be giving you time to Mother Nature. Okay, actually spending time in Mother Nature, staying grounded. Okay, is all, also giving time to helping others too and teaching. Okay, sharing your... People don't realize offering is also sharing the knowledge and wisdom that you have inside of you and not holding it to yourself like the secret societies and the elites. Okay, you got elites and secret societies like Beyonce and Jay-Z. They want to keep all this secret stuff to themselves. Okay, this knowledge and wisdom. Okay, politicians, the government, they want to keep that stuff to themselves. Okay, they're being selfish. You giving an offering, you sharing your knowledge, you're sharing your wisdom, you're sharing your the truth, you're sharing what you've learned, your experiences, okay? And teaching as well. You're the opposite of these dark elites, you're opposite of these secret societies, you're opposite of these demons, okay? You want to share, you want to bring messages, you want other you want other people to know what you know and what you understand, what you see, what you feel. Okay? And if you're being creative, you want to put that, if you're being creative and you're making things and all that, you want to put all that love and energy that you put it, or all the, all the stuff that you put that love and energy into your, your product or your creative ideas, you want to share it with the world. You want other people to feel that, know that, because it's energy. Anything you create from music to sewing to painting to cleaning house, whatever it is, whatever you do, it's, it's about energy, about your frequency. Is it love or is it hate? Is it positivity or is it negativity? Okay? So, like, anything I create, I make, I make it with love. Loving intent. Healing, protection, okay? For other people. There's other, like, other people out there that you go into, like, a sweatshop. They hate what they do. So, they're putting all this hateful energy into what they do. When you work at McDonald's, do you love working at McDonald's? I didn't love working at McDonald's. It was a job for me when I was 15 years old. I didn't love it. I hated it. So what I'm doing, I'm flipping those burgers and I'm hating it the whole time thinking, oh, I hate this job. I'm just here for money. I'm just here. I need to make money for cigarettes at 15 years old. I'm buying, uh, smoking cigarettes. I need to make money for cigarettes. I need to make money for fun. Go get some cocaine. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I was thinking in my head. So I'm putting all that hate into that. Okay? So are you putting it with hateful energy or positive energy? There's a lot of people out there that do things that they, they hate doing, but they do it because of it's money. You know how many people I know that work, they work the job, and the only reason they're working the job is because they make a lot of money, but they hate doing it? There's one girl, actually two girls in particular for sure, like right now, I know they hate their job, and they talk how much they hate their job, but because of money, they make so much money, they'd rather just make all this money so they can just spend it and like all this, and they're like working in the care, the medical field. Like, come on, like seriously, you work in the medical field, but you you hate, you hate it, but you just want the money. But you're doing it like you're putting all that you're putting that energy into the people around you. People don't see that. When I worked at Cardinal and I worked at Ram with when I worked at mental health homes, I loved it, but I it was a love hate. I loved working with my clients, but I hated the staff when coming because I was a supervisor. I hated some of the things I had to do. I hated that I had got was supposed to work twenty hours and I'm and I'm working eighty hours. You know what I mean? Like that I hate, I didn't like, okay? But I did love being around the clients. I actually love doing the things with them. But that's not the case for everybody. Just know no one can stop you. Just know that nobody can actually take what, what's yours, okay? No one can ever make you feel something different either, okay? If you know what's yours, you know what's yours, okay? And again, like I'm, like I said, I'm hearing like you were a little bit afraid of it at first. You you were afraid of who you could be. Okay, you were afraid of your power, your abilities, your gifts. Okay, you're like, ah, oh, is this me? Am I capable? Like, also, I'm hearing you were afraid of being successful. Like, you you you've always lived in power. You could have been lived in like lower income or like poverty and like not having enough and not being successful. And your family wasn't, and so it was holding you back from being successful because you had that mindset. Okay, well. My family lived in poverty, lived in low income the whole time, one welfare, so I have to live that way. I, my family only made $10 an hour. I have to make $10 an hour. I can't have a bigger house than them. I can't have a better car than them. I can't have a job I love. I can't be my own bit boss because my family wasn't. Like, that's holding you back. Okay, that mindset. 
because I'm getting that from somebody like because you don't want to be better but it's not you being better than them it's just you being the best version of yourself and living your best life living your life to the fullest and you, everyone's deserving of that okay because your parents and because your family didn't that doesn't mean you can't doesn't mean that you don't deserve it because you do you deserve to be happy you deserve to be successful you deserve to be doing something that you love and be passionate about it 40, 404 I saw on the clock okay this is the last part okay we got angels are always with you you have a higher calling and purpose than you ever known God needs you to do his work on earth you do you have a higher calling The enemy doesn't want you to believe that, okay? The enemy doesn't want you to believe that. Open up your heart and listen to your soul tribe and spirit guides are teaching you, guiding you, okay? So you're, you're being guided, okay? Or you're here to guide other people, okay? They are here to support you, whatever you choose to do, okay? Whatever you choose to do, if you're truly passionate about it, you truly love it, you truly want it, you're determined about it, it's going to be successful, okay? Anything's possible. Don't do it just for the money, though. Okay, don't be doing it for the money. Be strong. You're protected and highly loved. Okay, it's not about the money. Okay, first it's about what you love to do, really truly love to do. And when you love to do something, you do it for free. And then somehow God will provide for you, okay? You will start seeing some kind of income coming in. I started doing my bracelets for free, okay? I started doing them for myself. I started making candles for myself. I wasn't making them for anybody else. I was making them for myself. And then my mother in law's like, well, people want to buy that stuff. And then my husband's like, put it on Etsy, Okay. I started doing YouTube messages. I didn't know I would get monetized. I didn't know you get paid. I didn't know you get paid for ads until after I heard you had like 5,000 people. I wasn't being monetized until like 5,000 people because I didn't know. Okay? I was doing it for free, just putting it out there. It is okay to be great. You're a rising star. You're, you're, you are the future of heaven on earth. You are the future. You are the future your community needs. Your community needs you. Your town, your state, your sector, whatever it is, they need you. Even if they don't physically know that and in physical contact, they need you. They need you to be this beacon. They need you to be this light worker. They need you to be this divine being of light. God is moving mountains for you. You are a boss who makes boss moves. Time to start this YouTube channel if you've been scared. Power is within you. You can't touch me. My ancestors got me and God. They can't touch you. You have it. You're, you're stronger than you possibly can believe, okay? And you're, you haven't even tapped into your full potential. It's just the beginning of it. It's just started for you. You still have a long life, long journey ahead. And a lot of obstacles still. There's going to be obstacles. There's going to be hiccups. There's going to be per per hurdles, okay? There's going to be roadblocks. Bump into the road, okay? But you'll get through them. You'll get through them. Nothing is perfect, okay? Nothing is just fine and dandy all the time, okay? But you'll get through it. 42. Have trust and faith. Prayers have been answered and soon will be answered. Or have been heard and soon will be answered. If your prayers are sincere, God will answer them. Okay? He will answer them if they're sincere. Real sincere. Balancing spiritual and physical world. Spirituality. So you're balancing your physical and spiritual world. Okay? You're bringing things in from the 5D to the 3D. Okay? It starts on the spiritual realm. It's really like... It's all starts on the spiritual realm. It takes quicker time in the spiritual realm. But it takes time to actually come into the 3D. Okay, so whatever is already, you're already successful in the 5D, okay? You are already a millionaire. You are already um, creating your heaven in earth, okay, in the three in the 5D, okay? It's already happened for you in the 5D. It is now coming down into the 3D, and it takes time, okay? It doesn't happen overnight, okay? It does take time, but it is, it's happening. A lot of people just want to be done and all with like right now. It has to be happy now. It's not. It's not your time. Divine doesn't have time. Okay? There's no time in there. There's no time. Time is only here in the 3D. 
in this earth realm right here in front of us. 83. Encouragement, support, love is coming towards you. Don't give up unconditional love. Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, and number 11. I love you guys. 11 is lining your path, okay? It's also mirroring its twin flame. It's um, you're going in the right direction, but mainly aligning your path, okay, with your north node, okay? Going in the right direction, okay? Again, you're no longer dormant, okay? You've been activated, and it's 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 up to you how you do it, okay? You're, you're so powerful, and you, the devil doesn't want to fuck with you anymore. I love you. Love, peace, like, and namaste.